Hello everybody, Prow here and welcome to another episode on the Bedrock Guide. And it is the day before 1.17 launches. This episode could go into 1.17, we'll see. But we're doing more 1.17 prep. I got one more farm I wanna make prior to the update coming out. Now out here, pretty close to the gold farm and the mob farm and the squid farm, because we are building another farm out here in our things that are too big to put in our regular uh, town, like farming area, basically. <laughs> And um, that's going to be a drowned farm. We got 1.17 coming and with 1.17 comes copper. And while we'll probably do some mining for some copper just to kind of get some kind of early and quick, I would really like to have a drowned farm and we could put one right out here. And you may be thinking, well, drowned, they don't, they drop gold right now, which is, which is true. They do. But come 1.17 tomorrow for me, um, they're going to be dropping copper instead of gold. So. What we can do is we can set up a drown farm over here and we can AFK farm them and get ourselves, I want to say lots of copper. Drown farms for the, the copper slash gold drop rates aren't really ultra fast, but if you have the time to leave your computer or Xbox or whatever on to AFK overnight, then it's still free copper either way, right? So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna set one of these up. We're gonna try to make it as efficient as we possibly can. And I've mentioned this in numerous other videos that I've done farms in, but I'll bring it up again. If you're playing on Sim Distance 4 in your world, you only need to go 44 blocks above water level, which water level is usually Y63. Um, but if you're playing on Sim 6 or higher, you need to go up to Y level 191, which is what we're doing here. Since this is a drowned farm, we do need to do it out in the middle of an ocean. Um, and it's technically a little bit faster if you do one of these in a frozen ocean, but not everybody's gonna have a frozen ocean close to them. So instead of doing that, we're just gonna use a regular ocean here. The rates shouldn't be significantly different when we do it this way. So this way, all of you guys, no matter what your world's like and what kind of uh, ocean you have around you, you should be able to, to get this built up without much problem. Okay, so we have this little platform built at Y level 191. And we need to make it a bit larger. This is gonna be our AFK spot because when we're this high, we don't have to worry about anything spawning down in the ocean. It is outside of the spawning range, which means it will get more spawns up above us where we're gonna be putting the farm. So um, this, this farm design is gonna actually have like four different like drop areas. So we need to make a platform large enough for us to be able to like sit or AFK or whatever and be able to collect all the drops that are going to be dropping down. So um, I'm not sure the exact size of this yet, but I know it's going to at least be eight blocks in each direction. So we're going to go eight blocks each way and make a nice big old square. Okay, next what we need to do is we need to mark off where are the center of our four platforms that are going above are going to go. So what you're going to do is you're going to find the center of your platform or your like central AFK spot. And you need to go out, not counting the, the center block. You need to go out 10 blocks in each direction. So we're going to go one, two, three, nine, ten. So that's 10 blocks in that direction. And then from this block, I'm going to go out 10 here, not counting the block that I'm on. So one, two, nine, and 10. That takes me right here. And then we're going to go out in the other direction too. One, two, nine, ten. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side as well. You kind of see how it's lining up to be diagonal, two blocks on the outside of the platform that I made. So I kind of know everything's like lining up correctly because everything's lining up the same on each side. Okay, so we're going to build the first platform completely together. And then I'll show you where or how to do the other platforms that you're pretty much going to do them in the exact same way. So we're gonna go up from this spot right here. We're gonna go up 25 blocks. Okay, now around this, we're just gonna make a small square around here because this is where our mobs are gonna end up dropping through. Okay, now we're gonna go out eight blocks in each direction, not counting the square. So starting from here, we'll go out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do that outside of the center of each direction. Do not fill in this yet because it's not gonna be a perfect square. I'll show you guys exactly how to fill it in. Okay, so from the end, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go out one, two, three, and four, and then bring yourself in one, go out one, two, bring yourself in one, go in one. So what you should have is if you include the center five and then two and then one, 
we're going to go to this other side here and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go out one, two, three, four, and one, one, two, and then bam, we connected right there perfectly. One more time, just to show you one, two, three, four, and one, one, two, and one, one. Move into the other side here. One, two, three, four, and one, one, two. You should connect every single time and what you're gonna end up with is somewhat of a circle-ish like shape. Once you have that circle like shape, go ahead and fill the rest of it in with your floor blocks. Okay, now once this part is done, we can go ahead and put up our wall. Now, if you're watching this after 1.17 is released and I'm actually gonna be doing this after 1.17 releases at some point, if you made yourself an amethyst farm, which are we gonna make an amethyst farm here? Maybe, you have to stick around to see. Instead of using solid blocks out here, you will be able to use tinted glass. Tinted glass is a new block that is in or coming in, depending on when you're watching this, 1.17, and that tinted glass block will actually block out lighting, but allow you to see through, which is super awesome. That's what we like to do with our mob farms, right? But we have to put some type of block that's gonna block out the light here. That way we do not see or we do not let light in here so the drowns are able to spawn because you have to have a certain light level for mobs to be able to spawn, right? So what we're doing now is we're just going through and we are just outlining the outside of the farm here and we're gonna bring this wall up two blocks high. So just surround outside of this, two blocks going up. If you have tinted glass, do it because that makes you super cool. If you don't have tinted glass, then you're kind of cool, not super cool like me right now. Uh, but go ahead and get your farm surrounded. You're going to need eight coral fans for this too. So take yourself over to a coral reef area and make sure you gather eight of these guys at least. And just in case you lose some, like I, I probably will because that's the type of person that I am. I'll probably grab a few extras too, uh, just so we have them and just in case we need them for some reason. Now take your coral fans and go ahead and surround this little hole that we have right here. And also you're gonna want a block, one block up in the center of that hole. We took out all those blocks we had in the middle and now we have the hole here with the, one, the block raised by one. We're gonna put coral fans here. And the reason we're doing coral fans here is because mobs think that they can walk on them. They see them as a full block. So the drowned that spawn are going to be walking over here and they're going to get pushed by water, which we'll put in in a little bit and actually drop down here to try to get a turtle egg. Cause we are going to have a turtle egg go right here. Uh, we're gonna get that in a little bit. I'm not gonna get the turtle egg yet though, because first I would like to go through and get fence gates in. This is just gonna be to block water that we have that is going to be flowing to keep it from flowing down the hole. I'm uh, gonna make sure we have the fence gates covering. Oops. Why is it not? Oh, I wasn't hitting the hitbox. Perfect. Now we do not have to worry about any mobs falling down through here or any water leaking down through here. And before I move on to the next steps, I'm actually gonna go ahead and build all four of these before we start adding in the next bits. And when you're done, this is what you should have. All four of the circles should connect to each other so they share the same wall. And that's gonna be it's just a little bit of a space saver. Also, it looks kind of neat. And now, what we should do is I, I need to get the turtle eggs and I swear I had some turtles saved somewhere from before. And I might have a leftover turtle egg somewhere. I need to look for these things. And I was just flying in. There's there's Blue Jay's base mines like, uh, it's like right over there somewhere. And I saw these turtles, they just spawned in. So maybe I will feed them. It, it took a little while, but there she goes. She's doing it, making the babies. Give me babies. Woo! -hoo. We got two, two eggs out of that. Okay, cool. So we only need two more. I found my other area and the turtles are still here. Can you make more babies, please? Oh, Raphael and Leonardo. <laughs> I forgot I named them. Awesome. Okay, cool. So we should get another, hopefully at least two eggs and we'll be good to go. And there we go. We got three more. Woo! -hoo. So we want to make sure we do things in a certain order to make it so we don't have to fight mobs and deal with different issues as we go through building this. So what we're going to do next is actually build the chutes for the uh, trident killers that are going to go down here and that the mobs are going to fall down. So I'm just going to come right below this, which is this block right here, just to make sure. And uh, we just need to make a square in any section here. So we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to do it right here. 
this is going to be my pad for my trident killer but we're actually going to make it a couple blocks taller so we're going to actually end up putting it right here and this trident killer is actually going to be slightly different than trident killers I've made in the past because we actually need the items and XP to flow out of this thing, okay? So what we're gonna do is we have a little four by four platform here just so we can easily place our blocks is we're gonna place our pistons here, 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 and here, just like that. Then we're gonna be putting blocks above the pistons here, 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 and here. We're going to be putting blocks down in the corners. So here, 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 and here. We're going to put rails down on those blocks there, 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 and there. And then we're going to make observers look at the blocks. So there, or at the, at the rails there, 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 and there. Uh, we can go ahead and fill this in with solid blocks here and here. On this one right here, we're actually going to end up putting a stair stair right here because what we're going to end up doing is water logging this one this one and then that should make a nice little like funnel it's going to send the items out this way we do need to block the back sides of the pistons that we're going to water log that way the water does not get out so i just put any block there will do and then we do need some water sources here um i need to get i don't have a bucket on me let me get a bucket okay and um just to get our water i'll just put a piece of ice here break it suck up the water put it here get another piece of ice put it right here break it suck up the water put it right there and then one more time suck up the water and then put it in that stair right there and then what you should have is your water is flowing out one direction is actually it's flowing out of my farm right now which is fine because what we'll do is I'm going to take this block right here out I'm going to put a piece of blue ice there just to make sure our items slide nice and easy. Blue ice right there. And then uh, we can just put a button right here just to keep the water from flowing out any further. Like that. Perfect. So now we do have water flow coming out. Our experience points and our items will flow out and they'll come out right here. And then we're going to do something with that a little bit later to make sure that we can get the experience points and the items and as well make sure that all of our items go into a um, storage system. So now we need to actually build up the surrounding area here to make our mobs drop down into the trident killer properly. So what we're going to do is we're just going to build up until we are three blocks below the platform. Okay, so we got up to this point. We are three blocks below here, and I did connect the two sides that actually already line up with the edges on the edges, so we're good there. And then the outer sides, we actually are building out a little bit of a wall because we do need to wall the rest of this area off. So what we're gonna do is just that by connecting all of these together with this. That way our mobs will fall down into here and not just fall out. And then we need a way to filter our mobs down into here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put a button here, here, and here. And then I'm going to put another one right here. And then we just need to get a couple of water blocks here. So I'm going to put one here, here, and then I'm going to have another one up a spot right here like this. That way it does not connect to make an infinite water source. So I should be able to break this out, break this out. And break this out and bam so now when our mobs fall down in here they will fall down into this and they're going to get pushed right down into there and then as you can see there is no water flowing into here which is perfect and then now i can actually swim out of here i think can i swim out oh no i can't i can't swim out and that's it that's one trident killer all the way done now oh and we have mobs spawning up there. So now it's, it's turned into a general mob farm. That should be fine. It's only going to happen in the daytime. So we shouldn't have to fight these guys too much. And I can, I can honestly just leave them in there. It's fine. Okay. And I have two minor edits here for you that you're going to have to make. So um, this is where our um, ice was, where items are going to be coming out. And I did put a trap door. Can I get rid of that? Yeah, I can get rid of that. I did put a trap door right there. Um, that will keep any kind of baby drowns or anything like that from getting out but at the same time, we'll make it so our items can get out properly. Um, second of all, um, we added in some repeaters. So um, on, again, that right there below us is where our trap door is. So if you go to the left of that, that one's gonna stay a powered rail. And, and then we're gonna have a repeater at two ticks. 
a repeater at two ticks and a repeater at one tick. Um, I was having some problems doing it the other way to where the items were not coming out. But now if I turn this thing on, you see it does move a little bit slower, which is what we want because now if I throw items out like that, you see the items do actually make their way out. No matter where they are, no matter where they fall, they're gonna make their way out of here, if not the first time around, the second time around. So now we need to go through and make all of these have that exact same system. So make sure you're always doing the same way. Wherever the trap door is, the observer there, whichever way it's pointing, put your first powered rail there. So like on this other one I'm doing over there, I'm gonna have that one kind of working in the opposite direction. So I may do it on the opposite side, but whatever direction your observer is facing, that's where your uh, first power rail is going to be. Okay, we got all of the trident killers down below are all finished. And now we need to get the water streams set up here. And what we want to do is we actually want to make this water two blocks deep, not one block deep. But we do also want to make sure that we are making all of our mobs flow in that direction, right? So what we need to do is we're going to go through with, uh, you could use any block that you want to is fine. And we just need to fill in this whole bottom section with a temporary block. So go ahead and get all of your bottom section filled in now. Okay. Once you have that done, you have one very minor edit that you're going to need to make and all of the corners where it's just the one block gap. So you see, you have your straight side, your straight side, two blocks, two blocks, one block right there go ahead and fill those in just like that fill all four of your corners in on all the platforms that you've made the reason we did that is just to make the water flow actually continuous and for there to be nowhere that mobs can get stuck now what you're going to want to do is put water buckets or you can use regular ice for this too and just fill in all of these spots right here just like this and then you can just go ahead and break all of those and what you should end up with is water perfectly flowing over to the edge now what you need to do is you need to take out in my case my shovel here and get rid of all of those blocks down below and when you're done this is what you should end up with you should end up with flowing water going out towards the center and the egg sitting right there in the middle now we got a couple of other things we're going to do here but first let me get all of these set up in the same way so i'm kind of at the same stage Okay, all of the water is now done. As you can see, all the water is nicely flowing in towards the center. There are no dead spots. Um, I had one of the turtle eggs got broken. I think it was because like something spawned up here before I had everything done and he got on there and, and like jumped on it. So it's fine. Um, I just have them blocked off for right now. Um, actually, we're about to put together a more permanent solution to keep mobs from falling on this. This was from uh, Rufus, by the way. Did I mention him earlier? I don't know if I mentioned Rufus earlier. A lot of these mechanics came from him um, as well as the method I'm going to use here that's going to keep mobs from breaking our turtle eggs. Okay, so to keep the drown from possibly getting up here and breaking our eggs, what we're going to do is we're going to take campfires and we are just going to surround this guy right here with them. And the campfires don't have to stay lit. You can put them out. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put them all out. And we're going to do that to each one of them. That'll keep mobs from getting to it. There won't be a chance for baby drown to bounce up and get to the egg, be able to jump on it, anything of that nature. Next, what we want is we need to get our items out of here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some ice, which I'm going to start out right here, a one block drop below that. That way the items can fall down and we can have separate water streams. We're going to connect this over to this. We do the same thing over here. Next, just to make sure nothing gets out, we're going to, not that direction, we're going to put some glass going across here like this. And we need to leave it open in the middle. Is that the middle? Okay, got the water flow set or the, the path for the water flow set up. So this part should be pretty easy. All we need to do is we need to make water flow in this direction. So I'm just going to place these down, punch them out. That's got my water flow in this way. Perfect. Exactly where I need it to go. Actually, we're going to cut it off. And then we just need to stop the water flow a little bit short. So we're just going to put buttons here and here. And we'll put a piece of ice right here and break that. And that'll bring the water flow down. It'll stop it exactly where we need to. And always good to double check things. If we drop an item right here and let it flow all the way down, is it going to actually make it into that water stream? The answer is yes. 
Now you can also go through and just cover the top off with glass. That way you don't have to worry about anything getting in it and getting stuck or getting out. I don't know, any funkiness. We don't want any funkiness around here, so we got that. Next, we're gonna set up a quick lever. Right now we have these levers that we're manually turning on and off each section. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. We have power going to that block right there. So we're just gonna take some redstone dust and bring it across. And then the signal's not strong enough to reach it all the way through. So what we'll do is we'll throw in a repeater right here before it splits off. And we need to hit power on this block and we don't want to be touching any of these blocks that already get power. So what we can do is we can just take some blocks just like this. Bam. And we're just going to do that on all the sides. Now, I'm not going to give a full tutorial on any sort of item sorter, but it's probably a good idea to have some site, some kind of item filter to pull out the gold or in this case, copper, since it's switching over to copper first, that way you can get all that out. And then you can have some junk chests where you can collect some extra tridents. Um, you'll have other stuff all in there like zombie flesh and that kind of thing too. Uh, I'm not going to show that part because I've made those numerous times before. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that set up. Okay, so now we have the block light up here. And again, if you have tinted glass, then you can just simply use tinted glass for this and that's it. All you gotta do is just cover the top with tinted glass at this level right here, plus um, leave a one block space, AKA like one block above where the dirt is right there and you're good. But we don't have that yet. So instead, we're gonna have to use another method to block the amount of light down here. That way we get the spawns during the daytime and the nighttime. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually build up an eight tall platform. It's gonna go around each one of these. I could save materials a little bit by just like having this middle section be part of it, but I kind of like the cool shape of this thing. So instead of squaring it off, I'm actually just gonna, I'm just gonna trace the whole thing around. And uh, then we're gonna use some leaves and etc. So let's get started. So for your first level, just go through and trace the outside of this thing, just like I'm doing here. And once you're done with that, and also please make sure you do it with a solid block. It cannot be slabs or anything like that. It has to be a solid block. Now we're gonna go through, and we're gonna fill in this whole area with leaves. And then lastly, we take out our dirt block right there, and we need to build this section up one higher because we have to cover over the uh, campfires and you cannot have a block sitting right above the leaf otherwise or the egg otherwise the mobs will not think they can get to it therefore they will not track to it and that's really what that system is using i don't know if i mentioned earlier but drowned are attracted to in the sense that they want to crush them and destroy them the turtle eggs so that's why that's in the center it'll make all the drowned very quickly start moving in that direction to fall down the chute and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build this up another seven blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get a wall going around this thing, seven blocks tall. And next thing we need to do is what I'm doing right now. We need to cover the whole layer below the top layer. Cause this is going to allow us to easily place our water that we're about to put in next. And once you have your top layer of dirt down, you're gonna to wanna to go around and then put a block of ice, every other block and in the corners here. Just like that. And again, this is just if you want to use ice, if you want to use water buckets, that's fine. But this is the easy way to do ice. Come out from the one corner is poking out and just put two pieces of ice diagonal from that. And then if we go through with our fortune pickaxe here and we break all of this ice that we just put down, we will have water source going all the way across this entire area. And there we go. Now we got all water sources. We can take out our dirt here. It's at the bottom. The water will flow down and the light will be blocked. We gotta do this to all four sides. And now with all sides all set up, I can dive down here and we should have drowned spawning in. Ah, there's one right there. And they're going to be unfortunately kind of slowly dying. So I think one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some tridents that I get from this early on. I'm gonna go enchant them. Cause if you get impaling five on the tridents and put them in there, the, the drowned are gonna die faster, which will very slightly improve the rates of our farm here. So I think that's something that we're gonna do. But as you can see, it's working. I'm, it, I'm getting a little bit of XP. Honestly, the XP is not the main reason to get this. It's extremely slow, but we are getting drops down into our system. If we look down here, there is gold coming in. Actually, it somehow picked some up. Um, so there's a little bit of gold coming in and everything else is gonna drop into these. You see, we already got some tridents coming in, so that's good. So we're gonna go ahead and get some more of those and then set those up to help our trident killers work a little bit faster. And that's it, we've done it. We have a drowned farm that's as close to as fast as you can have a drowned farm as possible without going super crazy with it. 
Uh, I was trying to catch some falling in the background, but it's kind of hard to do. But yes, our drown farm is working. We're getting gold. This will be getting us copper. And if there's anything else that you would like to see, there they go. If there's anything else that you would like to see in 1.17 that is coming out today as of the time I release this video, let me know down in the comment section below because I would like to know what you guys would like to see. I've been paying attention to a lot of your suggestions already. I have a few plans that I would like to do to start things out. And I will continue to look at your comments and make sure that I'm doing the things that you guys like to see. So thanks so much. I appreciate you being here. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button, click the like button, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.